Hello everyone, my name is LazyJet, welcome back to Train Simulator 2021. Now today's video is going to be something I've never actually done before and to be honest I'm actually really scared of actually making this video because I don't actually know what's going to happen. I'm guessing you've already seen the title of this video and you're probably thinking, huh? Hold on, how's that going to work? So here's the situation, you join me on this room, I don't know whose it is but it isn't mine. This is basically a volcano, it's incredibly high and incredibly steep. So today we're gonna explore the inside of this volcano by using a steam locomotive. Now you're probably thinking that's probably the most bizarre idea I've ever had. Well, yeah, you may be right. But if you think about it, a steam engine works better when it's hot because it has a boiler. So in my mind, if a steam engine went inside a volcano, from the heat of the lava bouncing right onto the engine itself and make the boiler even more hotter, shouldn't the steam engine run more efficient if it went into lava? It might, I mean, that's, what, that's what I think, but obviously there's not like, like the metal could start to melt or, um, or it could catch the trucks on fire because the trucks are actually made of wood. So we're going to take this small prairie class uh, and drive it down this spiral of spiral, this spiral of track. And we're going to go right into the mouth of the volcano. I mean, look at that. That looks, that looks pretty scary, doesn't it? I am literally terrified. Like, you know, I've done a lot of crazy things on Train Simulator. This is, this is one of them. In fact, I wouldn't call this crazy. I'd actually call this terrifying because I've never actually... Driven a, well, I haven't done anything as bizarre as this, driving a train into a volcano. I'm scared. But if you're new to the channel and you want to see more amazing stuff like this, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified of the channel. Right, um, let's get into it, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. Oh, I am so scared. I, what am I even supposed to, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? Like, we're driving a train into a volcano. That's enough said, isn't it? Oh dear, why do I do these things? For, for, for entertainment, I suppose. The, the, the thrill. Right, brakes are off. Um, pointless uh, headlight on. I mean, we're not going anywhere. I mean, we're just driving into a volcano. Oh, this is completely normal. We're just going to drive a, a, a steam engine uh, into a volcano. Uh, everything seems normal here in England at the moment. Right, uh, this gives us a little bit of power. Oh my god, this is going to be so scary. I'm going to have to go really slowly as well, because if I'm going to go down into a spiral, then I've got to drive with so much care and super slow, because if I go too fast around the corner, down the spiral, I could risk of actually coming off the tracks and landing in the lava and, and dying. Well, no, you, it, you'll be dead. <laughs> oh, guys, help me. Why do I do these things? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. That is a beautiful sunny morning. But, I mean, everything seems normal. Like, oh, it's a lovely sunny morning. Everything seems fine. Then you look down. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, my God. This is terrifying. Right, I've got to apply the brakes just a little bit because this spiral looks looks pretty dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, this is probably one of the most scariest things I've ever done in this game. Driving a train into a volcano. Right, let's apply the brakes just a little bit. Because I want to go... Like, I know I'm being a bit of a wuss right now. But, like, I am so scared of just coming off this track. And just landing into... Well, if I fall off this track, it's instant death for me. Like, there'll be, like, zero chance of survival. Do you know what? I think we're going to keep it about... Just under 20 miles per hour, that, that's, that seems fine, that's, that's plenty fast enough. I mean, right now it feels like I'm doing a million, but I'm only doing like 17 miles per hour. You know when they say in movies, don't look down? <laughs> oh my god! You can actually see the lava, you can see the lava, you can see it glowing. And look at the steam coming off that, that goes to show how hot it is in there. Okay, slow it down, slow, slow it down. Oh, we're gonna go even more faster, aren't we? We're not even like on the like we're only on the like the first bit of the spiral. We haven't even like entered the second bit yet. We've got like four or five to do. <laughs> okay, we're going way too fast. I'm I'm gonna apply the brakes because like we're doing like over 20 miles per hour. 20 miles per hour in in a spiral. Seems fair enough. 
I mean, look at that. Look how, look how dangerous and ridiculous this looks. I mean, the track. How is the track even flying right now? We need to have like um. Oh god, we're going way too fast. Apply the brakes. We're doing 25 miles per hour. No way. Am I going even more faster than that? No way. Okay, so that's where we started from. Oh, guys. Why do I do this? Okay, we're getting closer to the lava. I can actually... Oh, you can actually feel the heat coming off that thing. Ooh. That's, um... That's pretty hot. But I'm not even, like, near the bottom yet. We're still basically at the top, and it's it's... Oh, that is really hot. I'm sweating because it's so hot right now down there. Or maybe I'm just sweating because I'm nervous. Ugh. Oh my god, the spiral is getting much more, like, steeper now. But, uh, I, I just noticed something. Like, how am I even going to get back up again? Like, there's no way I'm going to be able to climb back up again. Because once I've gone down this volcano, this, this, is, this is a one-way trip right now. I suppose we're going to have to walk. Oh my god, we're doing 34 miles per hour. Apply the brakes massively, please. Okay, it's starting to get a bit dark now because we've actually entered the mouth of the uh, the belly of the beast. The monster. The, the monster's heart. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Oh, it's getting w way more hotter now that we're getting closer. Ah, my hand is starting to burn. I've got the brakes on maximum and we're, and, like, we're actually speeding up. That doesn't make any sense. Nearly at the bottom, boys and girls. And I'm so scared. I mean, look at that. I mean, look, look at that. that is like bits of earth being born right there. But yeah, it's still absolutely terrifying. You can actually see the sparks and steam flying off that thing. That's that's nuts. That's that's nuts. I don't know how I'm going to get out of here now. I mean, look, we're, we're, we're getting way more deeper now. And the, the spiral's getting much more steeper. I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. I mean, I think that's it. I'm, I'm doomed. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, that was a that was a little uh, little 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 joke. That actually looks like a cool like cinematic shot. If I was doing like a a trailer or something, look at that. Ooh, that looks awesome. But that looks so scary. That's 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 death. I'm actually looking into death right now. If I actually look close enough, you can actually see it's a gateway to a different dimension. Alright, boys and girls, we're at the bottom of the spiral now. But, you know, we're, our journey isn't over yet. Oh, I can't see because the, the steam is in the way, the smoke's in the way. Oh, it's going to get very, more, it's going to get more smoky down here. Do you know, we have done a lot of crazy things in Train Simulator history. I've done lots of Train Simulator races. We've done crash compilations. We did speed test. We did the jump. And we've even been to Mars. We've actually sent a train to Mars. But it's nice to do something more closer to Earth, like inside the Earth. This is a... Uh, oh my god, is the track on fire? Oh my god, I think the track is... The track is so hot that it's actually glowing. Like the track is actually glowing red hot because it's so hot down here. <laughs> oh god, you guys, what am I doing? But the amazing thing is, is the buffers are made of metal, and yet they haven't actually melted yet. The buffers are still here. I mean, everything's... I mean, the sleepers are made of wood, and yet that's managed not to catch fire, so that's something, I suppose. Oh god, stop, 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 stop! Oh god, what have I done? No, no, I haven't done anything. Thank god. I was so scared that um, I managed to actually mess something up. Can you imagine that? So here we are, we're now inside the volcano itself. This is absolutely terrifying. This is this is probably the scariest things I've ever been in with the train. I mean it's amazing. I mean, look at that. That's that's incredible, isn't it? I mean, I would love to get closer, but if we get any more closer than that, we're finished. Like, th this is the closest we can get to it, otherwise we will start to melt because it is very hot down here, and, and and I don't want to cause any catastrophe either, so, um... And to be honest, I don't even know how I'm going to get back out of here, because this 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 was a steep spiral, so... I mean, I can give it a try and see if it'll climb out, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, I've seen what I need to see. Uh, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Yes, please, right, um... Train on reverse, yes. I'm not, I'm not even sure if we can make it out of here, but, you know, we'll give it a go. Um, full reverse, let's um, let's see if we can get out of here. Come on, a uh, little small prairie tank engine thingy. Oh, God. Maximum reverse. There we go. Oh, God, it's so hot that sparks are now starting to fly out of my funnel. 
That's, uh, that's not good. Right, so, can we make it out of here alive, safe, and sound? This is, um, this is the bit that I question. This is the bit that I don't think we can do, but I'm, I'm gonna give it a go. Okay, enter the spiral now. Oh my god, look at that, like, big jump. That's, a uh, bit of a, bit of a bounce. Um, right, maximum reverse. Go, 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 go! Oh, we're only doing like 12.5 miles per hour. We need to find a way to get faster. I mean, look how steep this is. I mean, I don't know what degrees that is. And the sad thing is, I can't uncouple my trucks because there's no way for me to go around them. What have I done? What have I done? It's, it's, it's been stuck at 7.9 for a while now. Um, I th at least it's going up, okay? We're, we're, we're gonna get out of here, my friends. We're, we're getting out of here. It may be slow, but we are moving. Please, just make it out of here. Please make it out of here. I mean, we're on the steepest part of the spiral right now. Oh, we're going so slow right now. 6.9 miles per hour. We're so nearly out of the steep bit. 6.7. I have a little plan, but I don't want to risk stopping, because if I stop, then I guarantee I will not be able to move backwards again. But if I put my brakes on, and take the throttle off, and just sit and stay for about five, seven minutes, and wait for my PSI to go back up again, I'll have more steam strength. And then we can start going backwards again, but I'm worried that it might start rolling forwards rather than backwards. So I'm just going to keep it going backwards for now, just to see what happens. I mean, we're nearly off the steep. I mean, look, that this you can actually see where the track slightly dips. I think we've made it. Oh, I, th I think, I think we've made it. I think, I think we've done it. I think we're almost out of here, my friends. Yes! Oh, I, oh, I'm amazed. I love steam engines so much. They just surprise me so much. Oh, that's why you've got to love tank engines. They're, they're amazing. Oh, look at the sunlight. Sunlight, finally. Oh. I need, um, I need, like, that background, like, the background singers that just makes that, oh, sound. Like, I need that as the background music, uh, sound effect. I don't know if I can get that for copyright. I'll just make my own up. Okay, we're starting to speed up now. 17.7 .7 miles per hour. Now, this is more like it. This is it. PSI is going back up. Bush! Bye-bye, deadly volcano. Um, it was nice, um, traveling inside you. No. It was nice exploring inside, no. Um... I better shut up before this gets weird. 30 miles per hour, there, 25 miles per hour. Why is there a speed limit of going inside a volcano? Who thought there'd be a, oh, we'll put a speed limit up. Uh, you can't go this fast inside a volcano. Why would you go inside a volcano anyway? It's the stupid. There we go. We've we done it, my friends. We've done it. Yeah. Long tooth celebration. Yay. We did it, my friends. And now we are home safe and sound. Mission accomplished. So there it is. I think we've done it. I, th I think we've actually managed to do the, uh, the, the big question. Can we go inside a volcano and survive? And the answer is yes, we can. Big thank you to the small prairie for um, helping us on our little adventure today. Well done, uh, my friend. You, you did very well, little tank engine. I love that. Love you. Love you very much. Uh, it's just amazing how like anyone would make a volcano in Chase Blitz. I mean, I don't know what route this is, as I said in the beginning of the video. Um, but whoever, whoever made this is, is 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 a genius. But I actually want to find out what this route is because, like, whatever it was, it was some sort of route before anyone decided to make this. But there we go. Can a train survive inside a volcano? And the answer is yes. Uh, uh, your big question has been answered, my friends. And that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click the little subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links you need to know are in the description below. But until then, my friends, have a good day. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now. Goodbye.
might be an expert at these things. Sort of. 